dumped a month's worth of rain in some areas of the Philippines in less than 24 hours, flooding large parts of the country on Monday and prompting authorities to suspend classes and work in government offices. One of the worst hit regions is the province of Rizal, just east of the capital Manila. Super Typhoon Yagi tore through several parts of Asia earlier this year, leaving a trail of destruction. Vietnam was hardest hit. Nearly 200 people died as a result of the storm. Experts say this was the most powerful typhoon to hit the region in decades. It was relatively weak, but it rapidly intensified as it passed the Philippines and went on to its way to, um, to Vietnam. And that's, that's extremely remarkable to see typhoons undergo such rapid intensification. force of Typhoon Babinka on Monday morning, the most powerful tropical cyclone to surge into Shanghai in 75 years. But preparing for a typhoon is something Shanghai knows well. This is the 13th this year. At the eye of the storm, winds of more than 150 kilometers per hour Typhoon Kraton has made landfall on Taiwan's southwestern coast. Extreme weather battering the Philippines and dumping unprecedented rainfall, triggering floods and landslides. At least 26 people have died from tropical storm Trani that swept through its northeastern coast. The biggest storm to hit Taiwan in nearly 30 years has made landfall on the country's sparsely populated eastern coast. Super Typhoon Manyi has been battering the Philippines, reaching the main island of Sun with tidal surges and winds of more than 200 kilometers an hour.